I cannot wait till Netflix makes a teeny drama, a teenage drama, teeny drama about the Outrider franchise. A TV show that focuses on teenagers finding their anomaly powers. But yeah, that's gonna be the TV show for Outriders. You imagine something cool, something badass, but if we follow the trend, it's gonna be teenagers. Okay, okay, bro. Um, where did I want to go with that goddamn you random NPC? Yeah, there's big franchise potential with this game. And it's all gonna be TV shows that don't focus on what the game have given us so far. Uh, I feel like they could do something pretty cool with this game, don't get me wrong. But so far, if you just look at the recent Resident Evil Netflix franchise, video game TV show, which I've read only things about and not seen them. It's, it is a teenage show, a teenager show. So we won't have Outriders who we'll have teenagers landing on this planet, getting anomaly powers and just having fun and messing around. No, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if they give us something story-wise similar, this game could do, this game, a TV show, a movie could do pretty well. I feel like the whole campaign they set up could have been a cool movie that would fit together in 90 minutes or one hour. Harvest, do it, do it now. God damn you, stop flipping your pistol and harvest. There you go. If they actually take this project serious and have done the research, which Let's not get our hopes up for that. Where is the Marksman quest? I have a hard time finding that. I always do. The map markers are just the worst. Okay, can't go through here. And the music stopped. Ah, oh, where is it? Where is it? They could do some real cool TV show stuff with this franchise. If they focus, for example, on the other ship landing first, or the story escaping from Earth. That would be cool. If they focus on two storylines. Oh, God damn you. I did land exactly here. So I need to land here. Alright. God damn me. Okay, this is a bad start. And I'm already losing focus and losing focus on what I want to talk about. So. So. Okay, focus for a second. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> so. If they would do it right. Well, this should be interesting. They would focus on the starting point of the franchise, the starting point of the TV show would be escaping from Earth. They have, oh boy, they have really cool potential there with um, an apocalyptic Earth ending. And setting up cool characters that we didn't know, setting up the Wanderer and uh, I don't know what his name was, god damn you. The captain you see at the end of the actual campaign, damn! I'm now feeling the stronger difficulty kicking in since I'm under level with all my gear. They have 
some real cool potential there. I love a cool apocalyptic sci-fi movie and TV show. They could do a lot of what Snowpiercer are dived into with the story and campaign. Or they make stuff like the Resident Evil. Or make stuff like, what was the other one? Halo. God damn it. Okay, the last two TV shows for video games was Halo and Resident Evil. So, if they make an Outriders TV show, don't get your hopes up. Am I running the right direction? Like, seriously. How high are the chances that they're gonna turn this into a TV teeny drama that's just gonna be absolute shite? Pretty high. Teenagers going to space and getting weird anomaly powers. I can see it happen. I'm not quite sure if I'm running the right direction. The map markers are worthless. Do I want it? Oh, the tree is falling over. Never saw that before. More evolution than in battlefield. If that is the right word for it. Evolution. You're gonna get spawn killed. That's an interesting spot to be in. They set themselves, the developers, before Wolf Slayer came out, that they wanted Outriders to be a big franchise. And like I said, story-wise, especially before they brought the DLC, this would have been very true. I agree, it did have big potential. I feel like the Wood Slayer DLC is kind of harmful to the expectations and potential that this franchise had. More so because they have very bad reviews, which I just read through a lot of them. So user reviews are mostly negative which kind of harms the potential and their writing and where they have written themselves kind of makes things difficult for them to give a decent part two of the story in the campaign for this game so they have also written themselves into a corner there Oh, he's the guy I need to headhunt. That was quick then. If you know the trials ending, you know that things are gonna get weird from here on out. And yeah, I don't know where the story is gonna go, but it's seemingly... I've talked about this a lot. They've written themselves into a corner, so I don't feel like if they do uh, Outriders 2, that it's gonna follow the same story. That's gonna be something completely different. Might as well put my skills to good use. But with a movie, they could follow the Flores storyline or the other ship storyline, escaping from Earth. And landing on the planet and having the first contact pretty much. Pretty much. That would be a good movie for Outriders. So I feel like the movie concept will work better than a TV show. Especially since I don't have that much faith. If they do something similar to Snowpiercer. Which this world set up right now looks pretty similar to Snowpiercer. But I mean more so story-wise and character-wise and flow-wise it could work wonders. More so grim setup. Oh, 
or they are seemingly similar to Outriders. I mean Halo. <gasps> oh, Lord. Oh, I've watched the first episode of Halo and I already lost interest. Oh. I'm not a big Xbox player or Halo fan, as, so I don't feel like the pain that other people might feel through that. And I, I have not watched the first episode of Resident Evil yet, but I've seen pictures and reviews of actual people, not critics, so I kind of know where this will be going. And yeah, video games still don't get the love and consistency in the storytelling movie and TV show wise that they deserve. They get kind of butchered a lot. Which they have bad reputation with TV shows and movies. You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Most of the times, video game remakes into movies or TV shows suck. Mostly because of the direction Hollywood is going right now. Making everything for children, which this game does definitely not need. If they make Outriders PG-12 or 13, it's already... Uh, big problem this game has a lot of mature humor just look at the side quest where you shoot yourself in the head which is a cool side quest story wise oh boy boob so i feel like it would have already be a big red flag if they try to make this child friendly God, I hate it when you, when everything just panders to children. Don't need it. Absolutely not. Okay, come here, boy. Land on me, baby. Come on, land on my face. I know you want it. Stop running away. Bastard. That almost one-shotted me. Not just Ugh. land on my face finally, and he's even in my slow trap just for a second. I need to focus with birds. Sorry about that. They are still pretty tough to fight. Okay, it's almost done. But basically, I don't think that it happens very often that the same people who write the campaign for the game write the movie or TV show and therefore oh, it's kind of cursed from the start. Also it's not that big of a franchise and IP. Like I said, World Slayer kind of did not put the game into the best light. So it probably needs uh, an Outriders 2 or a better DLC before they actually can market this as a franchise and start doing TV shows. I feel like they need a big success before that starts, before they start making this game into what they wanted, a big franchise. So I feel like we're 
would definitely get an Outriders 2 before we actually Holy can shit. get Did a TV that? show or a movie. Even though the Outriders main storyline would be good enough for a movie and a TV show anyways. Uh, but it's gonna be teenage drama. We all know it. It's gonna happen. The Outriders are all gonna be 20 to 18 year old girls. Let's turn the face cam off for this map. Absolutely love the first city. And it's gone. Oh, look at that. My quality, my graphics aren't up all the way. I just realized that. Because my game didn't run that smoothly, I turned everything a little bit down. Gameplay hub display. Ultra. Ultra. That's good enough. Ah, oh, yes. That's better, that's better. Oh. Oh, <laughs> just for that music. Okay, okay, where do you need to go? All the way down there, head hunting. Uh, no monster hunting, sadly. I, lo I love the first city. I feel like they could just do uh, Outriders, the first city TV show. Which would be probably shit. Because then it's just living in the first city and having a soap opera in the first city with monster hunting for like 10 minutes and 8 episodes. But that would be something they could do. Just first city storylines. Because it's a big city actually and it looks cool. So there's a lot they could do and most of it will be absolute garbage like expected I mean maybe it's just a passionate speaking passionate pa pessimist passionist the passionist because I'm so pass passionist no I'm confused now god damn it what was I trying to say passion pass Okay, let's just let's just stop. This should be interesting. Want to? They are all white. Move. Hannibal. Or oh, they just don't have a way to color the name, color them in. But they are bad guys, of course. They are all white. Bum, bum, bum. I would love to see them tell the story of the other ship landing and enslaving the packs and starting a war with the packs. I would love to see the story of the Wanderer. That's what I would love to see as a franchise movie game. I would love them to follow up on that storyline. That's what I would like to see. But they already forgot about the Vondora storyline with the Wood Slayer DLC because he had a shot in his hand and the uh, Pax girl, the new one, said there's only one more shot. She might have not known about the Vondora, but they already finished the story in a way that they written them off, him off. So that's what I would like to see. God, what was the captain's name that you meet before you fight the end boss? That story. That's... That has big potential. Humans coming in as gods onto the new planet and enslaving the population. That has real potential. 
for being dark, for being grim, for being exciting. And the Vondora is the main protagonist, which, I mean, you can give him the skin color you want, which is the most important thing about a new franchise. Which character is which skin color? You have already the bad white guy captain. <laughs> As it's. Oh. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. I mean, you can't build the franchise on an evil guy who's not white. Even though Re President Evil had Wesker being black, I love the guy. The actor who's also in. What's the game? Horizon Zero Dawn. That's the same actor that is playing Wesker. Oh, I really like that actor. Ah, oh, should just watch Resident Evil. Give it a try. Maybe it's not that bad, right? Ah. Okay. I'm standing in a bad spot right here. Yeah, like I said, but the Wanderer storyline has the best potential that it could give you. Also the Priest checkups and the Outriders pre coming to this place to Enoch's story. That has also a pretty good potential of being a good story. So the potential of them actually making something good is pretty high. But the realism of them making something good is actually pretty low. Just because of track records with other stuff. Let me charge! Let me charge, please! No! You bastards. Now he's got protection. So much potential. It's all gonna be ruined. I hope that they make an Outriders 2 and follow the storyline of the Wanderer. Which I know a lot of people will say, oh, Patrick, the Wanderer is male. Are you telling me that they're only gonna give you a male character? His mask, he could just wear a voice changer, they could just implement it like that and it would make a little bit of sense. And I feel like it would be a good story point to the normally powers won't come in that that quickly through that storyline, but story wise it would be very interesting to start a game with the other side of the Humans coming to this place and ruining its story. Camp. Uh, we're out of the first city. I feel like that's what story-wise would be the most interesting thing they could tell you. How they turn the packs against them. Right now they're going mostly into a completely different direction and a weird one with the main story. And that is exploring the father's, Pax's father's story line, which I said before, and it's a weird prediction, but I'm saying the Outrider that you play will turn to the father, yes, also the female version. It's, the female version is going to get a sex change and be the father then of all the packs. And we're gonna mutate through our anomaly powers into a, the first Pax and then become the Pax father. That's my, <laughs> that's my prediction and I'm sticking with it. 
The Outrider is gonna become the first pack. It's too much. No, it's not. Just Don't keep it and take it. And don't step into the vomit. Okay. That's what I'm predicting they're gonna go with. That would explain why there was English writing in the trial. With the next DLC. Don't know the plans. This franchise might also get cancelled. Because the people's reviews aren't that high. I don't know how much money it made. Okay. Let's just finish this. They're giving him Don't all the heads. No thanks. I'm not drinking alcohol. Hoopla. Big jaw. Spine Ratch. Ratch. Vandigo. Vandigo. Oh, no, thank you. No. Y'all no, do real you. fine work. Come back when you're looking for more action. Ooh, wait a second. What was that? Ah, oh, no more. No Apple Gears. Ah, oh, sadly. But it could be better than what I have. 54 and 53. I rarely kill enemy with the twist. Okay, with my new gun, I kill a lot of enemies, so it might be better. Well, here's when you're not doing bad for Ujio. You do good for other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Target. Mm, pleasure doing business. Mm, pleasure doing business. Mm, this. Pleasure doing business. Ple yeah, thank mm, you. Pleasure doing Yeah, yeah. Pleasure doing mm. 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 Mm, 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 mm. You never let Ujio down. In the future, I'm sure there'll be more work for a person with your superior skills. Oh, wouldn't it be great if we would get a legendary gear from him that's actually useful? Flame or Torrent. The Damascus offering. Yeah, that's cool and all, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to yeah, yeah. They could do a lot of cool stuff with this the story potential. Yeah, what? So a bunch of pods. Especially the story potential is the so high. It's just that nothing really lives up to that potential that they turn into a TV show or movie. It's always kind of ruined a little bit because. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They don't really look for people with experience in gaming. Maybe that's why. Because people just do what they want and they just also follow the same set of what they've done before. It's all targeted toward teenagers and kids. It all needs to be PG-12 and 13, which does all not fit this game. So the best they can do is give a good Outriders 2 experience, which I said before, I expect them, do one, them doing one more DLC, an Outriders Endgame DLC, and then focus on Outriders 2, if they're gonna stick with this game at all. Those, those or me expectations. Ah, yeah, yeah, they're gonna ruin it, ain't they? Well, let's keep it at that. Thanks for watching. Peace out.